of why I still believe in our country and why I want every family to feel about America the way the Huffstetlers do. I mentioned to you earlier I went to Paris Island to be trained as a Marine. There's 70 training days there. About 60 days in, you do something called the confidence course. You're supposed to leave the obstacles with confidence. You don't necessarily go in with that. But you're close to being a Marine, so you're pretty pumped, you're excited, and there's a particular obstacle there known as the A-frame. You go up a rope, you run across some logs, you jump through an A, through another rope, and you shimmy down, and that's it. Well, one of our fellow recruits, we'll call him Recruit Smith, was afraid of heights. And so he was bear hugging that A on that A-frame, and he wasn't going anywhere. But the drill instructor was providing a little encouragement for him. Get off my obstacle, screaming to the top of his lungs, calling him every name in the book. And I was, I was about to get up there. I got up the road, ran over the logs, and I'm thinking, hey, yeah, I can do it. You know, the Smith guy, he's scared to death. And the drill instructor said, well, Smith, there's Huffstetler. If Huffstetler can do it, literally anybody can do it. <laughs> and he was right. You know, he was right. He wasn't just right about Paris Island, though. He was right about everything else. Huffstetler wasn't supposed to graduate from college, but I got to on the Hope Scholarship in Georgia. A bill signed by a great Democrat so that anybody with a B average in any state school can go there tuition free. Huffstetler wasn't supposed to go to Harvard, but I got to because of the GI Bill. A bill signed by a great Democratic president to invest in a new generation of service members as they came back from freeing the cotton and making us that beacon of hope in the world. Hostella wasn't supposed to necessarily, you know, work in technology. My dad never got on an airplane, to my knowledge. But I did. We got some things done and learned a lot about the changing economy. This district is a hard district for a Democrat. But if you'll caucus with me, I'll do everything I possibly can. And I'm hoping that the most important thing I accomplish in my whole professional life is making sure that Tom Garrett is a one-term congressman. So please caucus with me. Thank you.